Hello everybody. So this video will be a little bit special video. Uh, because the main ingredients for this type of battery will be potato. Yeah. Potato. So with this potato I will make a battery. Yeah, I will make a potato battery. So when I was a kid, I loved to play with potato batteries. I mean, I really love to make potato batteries and also some lemon batteries. And yeah, yeah I have really fun with playing with those uh, batteries. So in basic, uh, the potato will act like separator and the electrolyte because the potatoes have some acid uh, and this acid will act like um, electrolyte for your battery. So this is really basic stuff. What you need to do? You need to have some copper source. You can use any copper source. Uh, here I have some copper metal piece and also you need some zinc. So these three ingredients uh, are the basic materials for making a potato battery. So the copper will be the positive electrode, the zinc will be the negative electrode. And like I said before, the potato will be um, the potato will be like uh, separator and the electrolyte. And now what you need to do? Grab your zinc and put it in the potato. Also, the same you make with copper. And yeah. Here is some basic potato battery. Uh, so let's see what voltage we will get out from this battery. And yeah. I get uh, 8.6, I, I mean 0 0.86 volts. Not really special. So let's see what will be the current. Zero point, zero point zero six five milliamps in basic this is not a lot so to run uh, some small LED you need to four potatoes I mean potato batteries but yeah so this one I mean this method you will see on internet all over the place uh, but yeah you see uh, zero 0 0.059 milliamps is the current output uh, but we know if we if we put the electrode more closely together we will get a little bit higher current so let's do this you see Now is 0.073 milliamps because we put uh, the electrodes a little bit closer together. But yeah, so this is some standard, I mean normal uh, potato battery. But let's play a little bit with this type of battery. So first of all. So this is the current again, uh, I mean the voltage again, 0 
0.87 uh, volts and yeah the voltage will be always the same the voltage don't does not affect uh, how large is the cell because the same voltage you will get uh, if the cell is one centimeter by one centimeter or 100 meters by 100 meters the voltage will be always the same uh, but the current the current depends on the size of the electrodes so larger will be the electrodes larger will be the current but yeah let's play a little bit with this potato battery so zinc will be my anode but i will replace the copper copper i will replace with a carbon carbon rod and yeah Let's put some carbon rod and let's see what will be the voltage. So in basic we increase, I mean with the change of the positive electrode. Instead of copper, we use, I mean I use uh, carbon, carbon rod and yeah. The voltage is increased to 1.15 volts. Really, really awesome. So, um, with with uh, carbon rod, you will also increase a little bit of uh, the current. So, I will switch to milliamps, and you see. Right now I get 0 0.12 uh, milliamps with with uh, carbon rod. Really, really awesome. Now I will replace the zinc with aluminium to see if we can increase the voltage a little bit more. but no so the good combination is carbon and zinc right now if you want to run small LED uh, right now you need only two of these potato batteries so here I have my red LED I will make another uh, potato battery Oops. and now I have two carbon zinc potato batteries but right now we need to connect these batteries so this one goes from zinc to carbon and here will be the negative and here will be the positive oh we can also see what voltage we get and we get 2.5 uh, volts with only two potatoes So I will shut down the lights.
and yeah, really, really awesome. So this was really, really interesting. But let's increase uh, the power of this of this potato battery even even further. So what I will do now? Ah, I will make a bigger hole in this potato. I will use this drill. A little bit messy, but okay. So if you look the battery right now, we have a potato which acts like uh, electrolyte and the separator. We have some uh, carbon rod and some zinc, metal zinc. But we also missing something. We missing some active material. So the active material which I will add to this battery will be manganese dioxide. So manganese dioxide together with uh, a little bit of conductive material to increase the conductivity. Here I have a little bit of manganese dioxide. But, but if you play with this kind of battery uh, for the active material you can use whatever you want. You can use vani vanadium pentoxide, uh, nickel oxide, manganese dioxide, what you want. You also, you can add just uh, activated carbon. The activated carbon will be also really really good. Okay, so into this active material, I will add this uh, carbon rod, which will act like a current collector. And when I add some active material to the battery, which was in my case uh, manganese dioxide, I increase the voltage to 1.6 volts. So let's see the current. What will be the current? And right now we get uh, 2.7 milliamps. Not bad, really not bad. Okay, really, really good. Uh, I will make another one. Okay, let's check the voltage. And again, I get zero, uh, I mean, 1.6 volts. I will connect the LED again. Now in basic we need to have 3 volts. Yeah, we get 3.2 volts we, with only 2 potatoes. Awesome. This was a really simple project on potato battery. So guys, that's it for now and we we'll see us in the next video. Bye.